So today we're going to talk about how to review footage and how to download footage that's been captured on your DVR via the ACMS software. Now right here I'm in the control panel, but if you're not here, no matter where you're at in the program, you can go ahead and click on view, control panel, brings you right back to it. So we'll go ahead and click on remote playback, or alternatively right here if you haven't opened it up yet. So say we know when and what camera the event should have occurred in. So we'll go ahead and click on Grant Street. Now yours might look like this. I always tend to narrow it down to one camera because this program is very resource heavy and sometimes it's hard for the computer, depending on the computer you have, to do more than one video stream at a time. So for example, we're gonna go ahead and stick with just one, one at a time. So we'll grab this camera, just drag and drop it right onto there. Now once it searches for all the footage, Go ahead and double click that. And now that it's just gonna keep playing. So for example, as you can see down here, you can see there's a little time code here. Uh, basically that's telling you what time the clip starts at and then it usually starts at the next clip. So if I say, if I were to scroll through different times, you can, you'll see it jump to a different time in the day. That's all. So say we know an event happened at five after five minutes after midnight. We're going to go ahead and click on here. We're going to click 5. I'll make that 0. It's going to jump to that 5 minute mark. Now we just want to review the footage. Say we want to capture this car that's coming down through here. So after we review the footage, okay, we got all the footage we need there. What we're going to do is take note of the time code it ended. So it ended at 513. We're going to go ahead and click on download. And we're going to click on download by date. Now I recommend doing it this way if your camera system is set to record 24-7. If you are recording motion, uh, I have another video detailing that. It's very similar. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. But it's very similar to that. So we're going to go ahead and click on the time here. We'll set this to 450. Because we want to leave a little bit of a buffer, but not too much of a buffer. We don't want to get way too much footage. We'll do six minutes on the dot. So once that's been established, you're just going to click on download. Now, it's going to save to the file path that you have set, in, like I showed you how to do in the previous video. Once again, I'll leave a link down in the description. But if you don't know, the bottom, bottom right, you're going to see this pop up. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Now it does give you a snapshot of the beginning of the footage. Whether that helps you or not, it does leave it. That way you'll be able to tell what's going on. Now in this case, we're it saves it as an MP4 file, but for example, if we'll go ahead and click this, it's just a still image. Now sometimes Windows Media Player will play it, and sometimes VLC will play it, but it really depends on the computer. But the surefire way is to use the VS Player. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize everything here. We're going to open up the VS player. Now once we have that open, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We want to add video to this to be viewed. So we'll go ahead and I know exactly where I've, I've saved my stuff. We're going to go ahead and drag this. This is your MP4 file. We're going to go ahead and drag it right onto here. Go ahead and minimize that. And then once we push play, you can see the footage is playing as it did on the DVR. So if once you've downloaded it, you're having the issue, I can't play this footage, this is the, the solution to that. Now it plays it back just as the same quality as it's been recorded. There it is right there. Boom. Now I did record, like I said, we went a little bit over, but that's okay. You want a little bit of a buffer there makes it easier to um, pinpoint where it's happening. You want to download everything and then miss the one spot. Maybe you need a little bit after. So that's pretty much all you need to know about downloading footage. Now once it's downloaded, you can throw it on a thumb drive, you can throw it on an SD card, you can email it, you can Dropbox it, you can do anything that goes from there.